Hey guys, this is Avella. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Bye. It's Isabella. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new here um, today's video I wanted to do a little Q&A. It's gonna be my first like legit Q&A on my channel I've done one a few years ago. So I just asked you guys on my Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram on the screen somewhere um, I asked you guys to just ask me questions for my first general Q&A and I got a lot of responses so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Isabella. I really hope you guys stick around. If you're not subscribed, just click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the bell icon, that way you are notified whenever I upload a new video. So I took some screenshots of the, um, the questions that I'm gonna be referring to from Instagram. I'm trying to get my hair in the frame so it doesn't look like my hair is just weirdly out of the frame I don't know at least six pages of those questions so I'm gonna go ahead and start so the first one is from my friend Allie or Allison and it says do you think you and Zach once y'all are married will still stay in Texas or will y'all move I think we're both gonna stay in Texas and Zach's behind my bed and he can probably say the same thing <laughs> So we are staying um, in Texas. We just like it here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna stay in Texas. The next question is from my friend Annika and she says, what are your YouTube goals for 2020? Um, my New Year's goals for my channel are mainly to upload consistently, film consistently, so I don't you know, miss out on the first one that I just mentioned, and to be more engaged with you guys and just create content that I like and that you guys want to see as well. Just mainly it's consistency. And I would like to hit a few more thousand subscribers if possible this year. That would be amazing. I don't really have a set number in mind. So I have a lot of questions for my cousin Christina because I told her that we were FaceTiming one day. So I asked her, I was like, hey, I don't know if you've like asked me a question for my Q&A, but if you want to, you can. She sent me like, like, a few pages so <laughs> we're not gonna answer all of them but I'm gonna answer a few her first question was how did I start YouTube um I started YouTube I started my I created my YouTube account which is where my channel is how my channel is associated to Google in um, June of 2010 so that was a long time ago this 10 years ago and I posted my first video I think I think I did a few videos here and there just my neighbors and I being you know kids and so that wasn't really contributing to my audience I have today but those videos were really cringy um, but then I posted I think I started posting my first like actual YouTube video for like related to makeup or lifestyle in 2012 or 2011 I'm not entirely sure but that's how I started and I started because I want I watched Bethany Mona and she really I really liked how she was able to share a lot sorry I'm like touching everything on my desk because I my ADD is kicking in but I really liked what Bethany did and so I decided to do the same thing and create a channel she inspired me to do that so I, and then Christina also asked, why do I like makeup? Um, I like it because it helps me feel a little bit more put together. And I mean, I don't have a problem with how I look like without makeup. I just feel like if I have a lot of pimples, obviously I want to cover them up the best that I can because I don't like pimples. I don't think any girl likes pimples or anybody really. So um, I just like being able to feel more confident and I like trying out new makeup looks too because I think it's really fun. Then she asked me who taught me how to drive. Um, I went to the driving school that's around here in Frisco, there are two of them. But I went to one of those locations and I went to the driving school, I got my permit there and we did the drive time stuff there too and then my mom and my dad, I didn't really do much 
driving practice with my dad. I preferred my mom, but at the same time they were, it was just a really stressful time when your parents are teaching you how to drive, at least in my opinion. But the driving school taught me how to drive and my parents taught me how to drive. Okay, beyond, uh, beyond Studios Frisco is the Pilates studio that I go to. They asked, what did your boyfriend think about his first class at Beyond Pilates? Winky face. <laughs> um, he liked it. He's here if he wants to say something. But I liked it. He says he likes it. <laughs> um, we were actually gonna go yesterday, but um, I woke up with really bad cramps, and he lives far away. He didn't want to go without me, which makes sense because it's only his second class, and he's like, I guess I wouldn't want to go on my own to a class that was recommended, but like by somebody that I know if they weren't gonna be there right like with me for the first few times either so I understood that so we didn't go it's just he lives so far away from the studio that he probably won't be able to go for a while I did really enjoy it and okay you guys so that's basically it for this q a it ended up being really short but I do hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to be a part of my next q a don't forget to follow me on my Instagram is just at Isabella Velasmoro. It will be on the screen because it's kind of hard to spell if you don't know how to spell it or like pronounce it or anything. So yeah, but also I also ask you guys on my community tab. I will always be asking both on Instagram and on my community tab on here on YouTube so you guys can participate. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.